here we go from the antinatalist. Yeah. What are your views on antinatalism? It states that it is immoral to create sentient beings because existence contains suffering or would, or would have been better if we never existed. So thank you for defining what you mean by an, a, antinatalism because I've heard a lot of people use it a lot of different ways. So thank you for, for being specific in what you mean. Um, honestly, I feel like I have an infant's understanding of like an antinatalist argument. Um, cause I'm just, I don't know. I, yeah, go, what Armin, what do you think? I'm thinking that what about the opposite? If you state that it is immoral to create sentient beings because existence contains suffering, then would you be able to argue the opposite that it's necessary, like it's a moral imperative, like you have to create sentient beings because existence also contains pleasure and happiness. Like given that life gives you the opportunity of happiness and pleasure, then are you denying an entity the chance of pleasure and happiness by not giving it the opportunity to live? Right? So the potential for happiness exists. So maybe it's your responsibility to create sentient beings and give it that potential. What about that? So it could work both ways. What do you think? Um, my thoughts are honestly so stupid and ignorant. Like I don't even want to say it. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I mean, don't know. I kind of don't even... I don't even like get the question. I don't know in so many different ways. Um, here saying if non-existent people don't get happy, there is no uh, deprivation. Deprivation. Well, actually, well, I mean, there is because they they could potentially exist. You are depriving them. They they are deprived. What you're saying, if they don't exist, there is no deprivation. Well, there's deprivation because they don't exist. If they get to exist, then they get to be happy. So there is the, de 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 the deprivation is dependent on the fact that they don't exist. It's conditional. So there is a deprivation. And also what you're saying, if what you're saying is true, that is also will apply to misery and suffering. Like anything you could say about suffering and life, any argument you could make about suffering to promote antinatalism, then you should be able to make the same argument, the opposite version of that, because life also includes happiness and pleasure. Right, so. Okay. No, um, no very... look at this. It's saying, oh. No, no, so I'm sorry. It's saying in order to be deprived, someone needs to be happy. Um, no, pleasure... You know what do you mean? And you and as and some I before I existed, I was not able to experience pleasure. And now that I exist, I get to experience pleasure. Obviously, if you didn't let me exist, I was deprived of all the pleasures that I'm experiencing in my life. I'm not going to. Yeah, that that that's that final answer. Atheist Republic needs your help. We've been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Avabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.